Uh, FMF Pictures asks, Out of all the mini games you have played and all the Mario Party games, what is your top three faves? Uh, well, considering the fact that there are at least 600 mini games out there, probably even more than that, uh, that'd be really hard to pick just three out of so many games. Uh, there are a lot of games I really like, and I'm going to name a few of them off the top of my head. Uh, probably going to forget some, but hey, it's a very, very open-ended question. Uh, so let's see. Um, Bomb Skip Ball, uh, Buried Treasure, uh, Shell Shocked, Picture Imperfect, uh, Eats a Pizza, Chip Shot Challenge, uh, Filet Relay, uh, Dizzy Dancing, Look Away, Lights Out, Destruction Duet. So yeah, I gave you a couple of mini-games. A lot of them from uh, the Mario Party games I've played for YouTube, but I think that's fair enough. I'm not going to go through all eight games just to name my favorites. Uh, Samster102 asks, What mini-game out of all the Mario Party games do you hate the most? Uh, I'd say probably luck-based mini-games, like... Uh, Day at the Races, Bowser's Big Blast, uh, Stack Deck, Merry Go Chomp, games like that where you just pick one random thing and uh, a generator determines if you win or not. I think that's completely unfair and they should not have those as mini games. It's just completely unfair. It's not fair to lose all your coins and in the later games, a star for that matter, just over a stupid luck based mini game. It's not fair at all. Uh, R.E. Chris Leon asks, who is your favorite Mario Party character? Uh, in the whole series, it's Toad, hands down. I really love that they finally made him playable in Mario Party 5. Uh, but before then, I used, uh, in Mario Party 3 and 4, I used Waluigi, Wario, Mario, and Luigi. Basically the four hat brothers, I guess you could say. And then in Mario Party 1 and 2... Wario, Mario, and Luigi, as you can probably see from my playthroughs. So, yeah. Uh, Shadow Yoshi 64 asks, if there was another Mario Party game coming out, would you get it? Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I've been waiting for Mario Party 9 for a while, actually, but they still haven't released it yet. I mean, I guess Nintendo's doing a good thing by not releasing them uh, so much at a time, because that was a major problem they probably had with the series. They were releasing one game every year. And then they like finally stopped that with Mario Party 8. They released one every two years after that. But there hasn't been a game since Mario Party 8. And I'd like to see if they could improve on 8. Because 8 was actually a pretty solid title. Uh, Mario Super Slugger 100 asks... Where did you get Mario Party 2 and 3? Uh, to be honest, I actually bought those games when they originally came out for the N64. I am 20 years old. I did exist back then. So yeah, I actually bought those uh, from Walmart when they came out for the N64. Uh, if you want to actually get those games now, uh, your best bet is probably on eBay or something. You probably can't find them anywhere else. And then of course, you could always wait for them to appear on the Wii's virtual console. But who knows how long that'll take. Uh, and if you really want to uh, snoop down as low as you can. You could probably also download emulations of the game for an emulator on your computer. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, the Sumaru asks, What's your favorite all-time Mario character, including from any Mario game? Uh, my favorite Mario character would probably have to be Toad. Uh, I was always a fan of him in Super Mario Bros. 2. He can't jump very high, but he's very fast. And he can throw vegetables and other enemies really, really quickly. Um, he's also been very good to me in spin-offs, uh, like Mario Kart. Uh, he was a great Mario Kart character. Um, he wasn't very good in Mario Tennis, but he was really good in the Mario Baseball games. Uh, he was an okay character for Mario Strikers, from what I have played of that game. And he's just always been a good character to me. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Toad. Always try to use Mar uh, Toad in Mario Party whenever he's available to use. Because obviously he's not in the first four games. So yeah, I'd say Toad is my favorite Mario character. 
Uh, Trow Dahome asks, In what game so far features Mario being the villain? Hint, it is an arcade game and not in the same franchise. I'm posting this question to test your knowledge of Mario. Well, if I know Mario, and I think I do, that game is Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, Mario64 Wario asks, If you could be any Mario enemy besides Bowser, which would you be, and what would you do as the enemy? Uh, I would be a Charge and Chuck, and what I would do is I would do a combination of all of Charge and Chuck's moves. So I would throw a baseball, I'd then kick a football, then I'd shovel up a very small rock from the ground, then I would rush Mario and then try to jump on him, and if I needed help, I would whistle and summon a bunch of Super Koopas, or if I was underwater, Rip Von Fishes. I would also divide into three Charge and Chucks so they all could do the same thing. Uh, Mario Player 5674 asks, Do you think Mario and Luigi's Bowser Inside Story looks good, the third Mario and Luigi game? Uh, from what I've seen, it looks pretty interesting. I was very disappointed with two uh, partners in time and how some parts were actually pretty gimmicky. Uh, for me, anyways. A lot of people actually like that game. So I hope it's not too gimmicky because they are making a complete new playstyle for Mario and Luigi 3. And I hope it works because from what I've seen, the game actually does look pretty cool. So, yeah, we'll see what happens when the game comes out. Uh, Super Mario Fan 14 asks, What do you think about the upcoming Super Mario Galaxy 2? Uh, I'm really looking forward to Mario Galaxy 2. I thought the first game was amazing. And they're doing so much for the second game. They're making a lot of new galaxies, a lot of new interesting looking galaxies. Uh, Yoshi is playable, which might be awesome if you ask me. Uh, I think they kind of got rid of the bad Super Mario Sunshine Yoshi mechanics. Well, I'm going to hope that anyways. But yeah, uh, so far I really like what I have seen from the game. I'd like to see more or even get a release date on the game, but I don't think they actually gave one. Uh, I'd probably wait till probably 2010 for the game to actually come out, but uh, definitely interested in what the game will be. Uh, looks really interesting to me. Uh, Scottman895 asks, what is your favorite of the three Donkey Kong Country games from the Super NES? Uh, if I had to pick one favorite, it would probably be Donkey Kong Country 2. I know that's the usual trend. A lot of people like that game more than the others. But I will give the other two games credit because I thought uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 was actually pretty good as well. And uh, Donkey Kong Country, while it did lack in some aspects, it still began a great franchise. So all the games are good, but 2 would probably be my favorite. Uh, White Hawk Up asks, what's your favorite Zelda game? Uh, my favorite Zelda game is probably The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, that was just a very unique Zelda game, and I really loved playing through it, and I loved trying to find out everything. I loved getting all the masks, I loved filling up the bomber's notebook, and helping all the villagers with their personal problems. It was just a very unique game. A lot of people hated it because of the time limit, which in my opinion didn't really have that big of a factor on the game. You could easily arrange your tasks in a three-day schedule. It really wasn't that hard. And then a lot of the mask switching, like you had to switch between items a lot, which I do agree. It could got it could have gotten very tedious while you're doing that, but overall, I didn't think it was that bad of a game. I thought it was really good. So uh, definitely Majora's Mask, uh, Link's Awakening, and Link to the Past are close runner-ups, though. Uh, Manager98 asks, uh, do you like new Zelda games or old Zelda games better? Uh, personally, I prefer the older Zelda games better. Like, I like the N64 SNES games better than the GameCube and Wii games of Zelda. But I definitely will give the newer games credit because they are pretty good games. I just prefer the older ones better. So, yeah. That's my opinion on that. Uh, Narashava asks, In what order do you think the Legend of Zelda games came in? Uh, I know squats about the Legend of Zelda timeline. I know the basic plot and story of each Zelda game, but how they connect to all the other ones, that's 
something I really don't know, nor is it something I really want to find out, because, I mean, eh, it's just a difficult thing to really consider, because uh, Nintendo has never really directly stated the timeline. And I know that's a poor excuse to say that, oh, Nintendo knows the timeline because they created the game. But, well, I mean, I just really don't find myself trying to figure it out the timeline, because... I play the Zelda games because they're good games, and I enjoy playing them. I don't play them to try to figure out why something happened and what, in which order something happened. That's just my input. Uh, sorry I couldn't be more uh, constructive on the matter.